every Wednesday, I hit the charity shops to look for stuff to flip on eBay or to add into my collection. I come Wednesday every week just because it fits in well with my full-time work pattern, childcare, it's just part of the routine now. But I've always wondered, is Wednesday actually the best day to go charity shopping? Could it be that all the bargains are hitting the shelves on a Monday or a Friday and I'm just blissfully unaware of it? Well this week, rather than coming out on a Wednesday, I'm going out on a Tuesday. My thinking behind Tuesday is that the shops are going to receive most of their donations over the weekend. It gives them Monday then to sift through, price it up and to drip feed them on the shelves ready for me to come along on a Tuesday and pick them up. Thank you. Let's put it to the test. Look at these Polly Pockets. Looks like we got four older ones and one newer one. Older ones priced at about five or six quid each. That one's eight quid. Don't know if they got all the figures, but there are a lot of figures. All five for 45. Well, I've looked at that big unicorn one. I don't think that's any good. But I'll pick up the four smaller ones for sure. Four original Polly Pockets straight out of the 90s in the charity shop for a reasonable price. There's the logo on the bottom, Bluebird 1990, and these range from 1990 through to 1994. Now in the shop, all were priced up individually, ranging from six through to eight quid. I don't know how they justified the price of those, but I think it was just the number of Polly Pockets that they'd put with each set. Now by some miracle, even though all the Polly Pockets were mixed up, I've switched them all around and put them with their right sets. Those three are complete, that one is missing a couple. From 1994, this Polly Pocket Treehouse folds out like that. Got a nice little swing down there, two Polly Pocket figures. That one sells on eBay for about 35. This little beach up folds out like that. It's got a few little interactive pieces, those chairs swivel and the lid of that freezer goes side to side like that. Gotta be really careful with the stickers, they're in great condition, but they put the price tag right over that one. All complete, that one sells for 20. Got it. This Polly Pocket is called The Garden Party and the actual Polly Pockets themselves are quite sought after. Most on eBay are missing that white figure. And if you want to buy that Polly Pocket on its own, it'll set you back about 12 to 15 pounds. Again, just like the other one, the stickers are in great condition, but this mechanism is a little bit janky. It does get a bit stuck there. I'll have to see if I can free that up a little bit. But in complete condition like that, that Polly Pocket sells for 40 pounds. And this one here is called the Strolling Polly Pocket. It's got the little Polly with it, but it's missing two of the little baby figures. All complete, this one sells for about 35 quid. Now what was strange with that Strolling set is they had included another figure and a bike. Well, they come from a different set. I think it was called the Palm Tree set. And the lady in the shop did say they had five of these older Polly Pockets and someone bought one earlier in the day. I wonder whether these figures went with that one. Now I paid 22 pounds for those Polly Pockets. And totting up all the values should sell for about a hundred. Great start to the day, and I'm glad he didn't buy all of them. These can be pretty decent. If you've got the space to store it and you don't mind it hanging around a bit, these can sell for about 25 quid. They're asking a tenner for it. Marginal bit of profit doesn't justify the space it'll take up for me. Look at this here. Brio Mech Set 1. £4.50 boxed with instructions and a ton of pieces in there. No sold listings, none of these listed. But using the product research tool on the app over the past three years, they do sell. And they sell for about 15 plus post. Is it all in there? Dunno. I mean, I could count all the pieces there, but that's too much faff. Look at this down here. Retro Thermos Coffee Butler. That's what caught my eye, Thermos. And there's a little beauty in there. Screams retro, doesn't it? Needs a little bit of a clean. Shiny. Because it comes in a box, easy to post. Three quid, sells for about 12 plus post. Official Wales Kiddies football jersey, yeah? Yes, we drew with Gibraltar. Yes, we lost to Slovakia. But the red wall is still strong. UK 30 to 14. £2.50. Won't be long till my boy grows into that. I can usually find summer in this one. It's looking a bit sparse today. Interesting pair of shoes up here. Nike Super Rep Go 3s. Brand new. These sell for 30 to 40 quid. Pre-owned. The price tanks. Goes for about a tenner plus post. 
These are UK 9s, so they probably fit me. I get a bit of use out of them. 650? They've hardly been worn, are they? But now, the pre owned price is telling me that's not worth picking up. Now, I do usually find something in that shop, but nothing in there for me today. But I did pop into that shop over the weekend to drop some stuff in. And you know when you donate something, you've always got to have a little look around, haven't you? I found this Woody here, with his hat still on. It was only £2 and I've sold that one on eBay for 17 I picked up this sealed PS4 version of SingStar Celebrations. Not a big hitter, paid a pound for it, sold for 8 quid. There was a copy of Wii Sports in there for 50p. But this was a cool find. Black Label, PS1, Cool Borders 2, it was only a pound. Got the manual in there, one for the PS1 collection that. Stop doesn't turn around too quick in this one. Casio keyboard, 15. Them two figures up there, Batman and Iron Man, 15, 10. Turn a Lego Duplo here, 20 quid. First thing I look for, what characters have we got? Minnie Mouse in an aeroplane, that set sells for about a tenner plus post. Green Goblin of Spider Man, Winnie the Pooh. Then is it all official? That one's got the little Lego stamps on. That one doesn't. You might get lucky and find a few complete sets, but at 20 quid, again, the faff just isn't going to be worth the profit. These are nice. Look at these. Robert Harrop, the enormous crocodile, Charlie Bucket, for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 15 quid for that one, 23 for that. They look like really good quality and they look in really good condition too. They've already sold Danny Champion of the World for 30. Now for a collector, that's a pretty good price. For a reseller, you might double your money, but there's a fair few of these listed and not many sold. And the ones that have sold, brand new. It is safe to say no matter what day of the week you come out, there will be resellers about. Quite like the look of them down there, look. Reebok, and these are called Leather Ripple. I love the colors. How those like luminous yellows and purples pop off against the gray. Three quid. Can't go wrong, really, can you? What size are they? UK fives? Not picked up a pair of shoes for a while. That still cap is still in here from last week. And I tell you what, it is noticeably quieter in here. Oh, mate, that's no good. Sorry, we are closed. Nothing to do with the day of the week. Just must be a one off. Three for a pound in this box. Found a Papo Wizard, a little Papo King. Those two I can bundle up with some other Schleck and Papo figures I got. This thing's interesting, it's a Bay Warrior. Not seen these before. All the ripcord there, that spins. Tucked at the back here, an Ed Sheeran Funko. In the charity shop last week, they had one of these for sale for a tenner on its own. And that was about the sold list in price. Cool find. We've got some albums here left. Yellow Card Ocean Avenue, that is a class CD. <laughs> Another one here. Paper Wars. Yellow card fan, dumped in their collection. A little bit of CX trading up here as well there. 4K Ultra HD Atomic Pond. £2.50. It's got both their discs in there. And CEX, that's a £5 voucher. Ah, they got a couple here too, Le. Big Lebowski. And Amazing Spider-Man 2. Both with a 4K disc missing. Got a couple of Monster Jam Monster Trucks up here. All of them, £1.50 each. At a pound fifty each, if they're just stock monster jams, there's no point in buying them to bundle. They've got to be worth selling individually. Look at this one here. Race Ace. It looks like it glows in the dark. I love the livery on that. And look on the soul listings. That's very worthwhile picking up. Now that was a fun day. I had a weird feel about it because it was a Tuesday rather than a Wednesday. It felt a little bit odd. And you know what, when I started the day and found those poly pockets, I thought I have come onto something here. Tuesdays are the day to go out. But then as the day progressed, it did turn into just a usual charity shop hunt. And actually looking at the video of last week's pickups, it was a pretty similar day. What I did notice today was that certain shops that are busy on a Wednesday, whether that be lots of customers or lots of staff, some of them were quieter today. But then shops that are quieter on Wednesday were really, really busy today. Others were just exactly the same. 
I don't think it's as easy as saying that Tuesdays are better than Wednesdays though. And I think every shop just generally has its best days. Whether that be they got more volunteers that day, the store manager might be in that day. One shop actually was changing over and rotating the stock. Maybe Tuesdays are the day that they do that. There's a couple of things that we just don't know. For example, the pat tester might have been in and just done their round, so we might see a few electronics strip onto the shelf. Certain shops that sell on eBay by auction might have had auctions finished, not sold, returned to the shop, so then it gets put on the shop floor. There are lots of little factors that will make each individual shop tick. And I'm sure that they all have their weekly rotors and all the rotors for the shops will be different. If I wasn't limited to a particular window of sourcing, I think I'd go into every charity shop every single day, but just for a limited amount of time. I imagine you can walk into the one shop and if you go there every single day, you can quite quickly identify what's changed in there. You might then be able to identify some of the patterns. When is the stock being rotated? When are the certain members of staff who price the things up really cheap working? You could probably build all that knowledge up. But one thing you can't factor in, and a massive thing about all this, is just being in the right place at the right time and pure luck. Now guys, if you wanna see how my charity shop trip today compared to last week's charity shop trip, see how I got on last week in this video. If you enjoyed this one, hit that like. And if you enjoy this general type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe. And I'll catch up with you. Don't know what day of the week it'll be yet, but I'll see you in the next one.